Hi Dresser Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to be drawing Camilo from Disney's Encanto. And what a cool character he is, right? All the power to just uh, change into anyone he wants. That is just so cool. <laughs> and he's just so cute, of course. So I really hope you love this drawing and thanks again for all the requests to draw him. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw cute Camilo, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and give myself a point and I'm going to start with a big curve that goes across. So about right there and then I'm going to go ahead and at the bottom just connect it with a soft curve. So I'm going to come right across using this as my guide about right here and draw another eye. Same thing. So another big curve comes across just like the other side and then connect. So now I'll just come in here and just stick in this top curve just to anchor my eye. Okay, so now that I have those two curves in, I'm going to come inside and I'm going to draw a circle right about here. So then I'm going to draw another circle right here for a highlight and then surround it with another circle. And this is the part where I'm going to shade it in. So same thing here. Circle for a highlight and then another circle around and shade it in. And this white part is where you're going to put the color of his eyes. So now that we have that in, let's just make this a little bit rounder. Okay, so now that we have that in, let's see here. Let's come to the bottom. We're going to draw his nose. So his nose is very broad. So I'm going to come right here, kind of right under his eye, and about right here, I'm going to draw a curve and another curve right here. And then I'm going to bring this soft curve down. And then towards the center, just dip it a little bit and then back up. And come right here and just draw two little curves for some nostrils. And then right at the top right here, we're just going to very lightly draw a curve. And then from there, let's draw a big smile. So let's come to the sides right here and about in this area. I'm going to give myself a um, curve right here and about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just draw this big smile for Camilo and then go all the way back up. There. So we have his smile in. Now let's work on his uh, brow. So I'm going to come to the top um, and come out about right here. And I'm going to draw a slant that comes down over his eye. So his brows are very thick and long and they kind of slant downwards. So just drawing this shape. And they're pretty close together. So I'm going to come about right here and do the same thing. They slant down and thicken it up. And just I'm just going to go ahead and shade this in so you can see it bit better. There. And above each eye, I'm just going to lightly draw another line, another curve. There. So hopefully I've captured his look. Then from there, we're going to have to just draw his hair first before we finish his face. So I'm going to come to the center, uh, not too high, so I said about right here. He doesn't have a very high forehead. So about right here, I'm going to start to draw his hair. So I'm going to be drawing a bunch of curves that come all the way down, kind of hits his brow, and same thing over here. Now we're going to start to frame his face. So we're going to bring this down kind of where his eye is and then I'm just going to flick out. So same thing here. Maybe this one can come down just to change it up. Then from there we can start to draw his face. So I'm going to come about right here, kind of where his eye is and here. And I'll give myself two points and from there I'm going to draw a curve all the way back down to his chin. So I'm going to come right here, draw a curve. and curve and then connect at the center. So say about right here, give myself a point just so it's easier for me to see where I'm going and then go up. 
From there, I'm going to come in this area. I'm going to add another curve right here, just a little one, and then tuck in a ear. So I'm just going to draw a curve right there. And the other side. So I'll say about right here. I'm just going to tuck in this ear. Now we, let's go to the top, right in the center, and I'm just going to draw a curve, slight curve, and about this high. I'm going to start to draw his hair. So let's go and go up on this side, and we're going to go up on that side. So as we come down here, we're going to be drawing a lot of curves. So I want it nice and poofy, and we're going to end about right here. So let's go ahead. Nice and round and big. <laughs> so let's keep going down. Maybe right here can give it a little curl, maybe. Curl. And finish it up. Just nice and round. And so same thing over here. Nice and full. And keep going. About right here. Once again, give it a little curl. And tuck it in. So hopefully that captures his the look of his hair. And I'm going to come right here. And just finish this one strand here as well for the front. And just add a bunch of strands. There, so hopefully that makes his hair look really curly. And then from there, now we can go ahead and finish his body. So let's come to the center, about right here and here. And give him a little neck and then bring down his shoulders. So same thing here, little neck and then bring down his shoulders. Now that we have that in, let's draw this part first right here. Because he doesn't really have a... Um, armpit area because he's wearing a poncho. So let's start right here with a neckline first, right towards the center. And I'm going to draw another one that's much deeper. So this is where his poncho is going to start. Once again, towards the center and go right back up. And I'm popping it up a little bit. Just pop this out a little bit higher. Right there. And then let's come for details right here. He has this slight collar, so I'm going to come right here with a curve and then just bring it in. So same thing here. Curve and then bring it in. Just a slight indication and then bring a straight line down. And I'll just add a button right here for some detail. Then from there, I'm going to bring, um, let's come about right here, kind of where his shoulders are nice and wide out. I'm going to come right here and start the side. So I'm going to bring this down and give it a slight angle as it comes down. So say about right there. And let's bring this down a little bit more. His poncho is not as long as Bruno's, so let's say about right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just wobble all the way across. Then I'm gonna bring this down for the fringe, the tassel, and then I'm just gonna come right here and just go all the way across. And just like Bruno's, I'm just gonna come in here very lightly and draw these lines. All the way across. Then from there, um, let's come right here. Draw some of these crease lines. And let's see here. Now, um, then let's come to the bottom and we're going to find our center. So say about right here. And I'm going to draw a straight line down. So I'm going to start his legs. He has really long, thin legs. So let's say about right there. And I'm going to come about right here. And here. 
and do the same thing. So we're just getting a little bit thinner as we come down. And so about right there, I'm going to stop, break it up with a curve, give it a little cuff on his pants. Right there. And then his shoes. So let's come out and we're going to draw his feet. So I'm going to bring out a curve. And in. So same thing here. So a little bit straighter right here. Comes out at an angle. This curves out. And then about right here we're going to come down. And oops. And just connect at the bottom. Then for some details. We give it a sole right here. So another line. And then his fit flops. So right here. We're going to draw a curve. And a curve. And then one more curve the lines right there and same thing here so sole toe out and two little toe lines for toes over there okay so his pants are done nice and simple right and then let's finish his arms so we're going to bring this down we're going to bring it out a little bit and say about right here I want his hands to be about right here so in this area Go ahead and wobble down. Let's do the same thing on this side. Drag this point across about right here. And once again, just wobble in. Then for his arms, let's draw some sleeves. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to use this to make it simpler. But right there, I'm going to put in a cuff. So everything is just going to be right to his side. And then let's bring this down for a hand. So his wrist, then we're going to come about right here, draw a thumb, then come around and surround it for his hand. So same thing over here. So it's just much simpler because you're just resting everything onto his side. So a little cuff, and then once again, wrist, thumb, and hands his fingers and let's see we can add a little crease line here here and of course let's add a heart right here to make him my draw so cute camilo from disney's encanto <laughs> So they're all done. I really hope you love how Camilo here turned out and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. And thanks again, uh, like I said, cuties, for all your love for all my Encanto drawings. So definitely check out that playlist if you love this movie and you want to draw all the characters. And definitely let me know in the comments below if there's other characters you want me to draw as well. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.